Hey, Vsauce, Asian here. What are feet picks? What's up, gamers? Yeah. Oop, what I'm holding in my hands right here is a pair of Jordan 1 trophy rooms. An authentic pair of these resells for around three and a half thousand US dollars. My dick fell off! This particular shoe is a replica or fake pair. Well, not because I'm poor. In fact, as a member of the 1%, I'd much rather invest in cryptocurrency. Also, I'm poor. So, replica sneakers. They look and feel great, but what about that quality? Is it really that good? To test this, I'm gonna put these through an experiment I call Pabitsitartiga, or playing basketball in them to see if they're really that good. This will kind of simulate long-term wear. All right, in the famous words of Michael Jordan. Kids, use drugs. You can just about be anything you want to be. I'm Michael Jordan. Casey Neistat here. So I'm just uh, I'm just heading over to my local outdoor park basketball courts right now. Hopefully there's no one else there, so we don't look like total idiots. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh shit! We've got the shoes here. Those are my other ball shoes. Got some cosmic unities. But uh, we're here for these. Weird. Let's go. Uh, All right, we're at the local park. Yeah, let's let's get some let's get the ball sash going. Strap in, boys. pretty good not too bad I'm wearing pretty thick socks though got the stance basketball socks on yeah I'm impressed would I put these in my butt I think it's a little early to say but most likely most likely it do be a bit windy out here we might have to switch to a little crusty Easy, um, Let's get just like a, gonna give old crusty a shot I'm not gonna lie I think I'm an ass cameraman <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, oh snap Guys, I'm not trash, I swear. <laughs> These are so squeaky. Yeah, they sound sticky. Check out them soles. Actually, not too bad. Mm. Kobe. Surprisingly good. A little crease, a little bit of crease action, but I mean, up top, everything's holding up pretty nice. They feel great. I did go half a size down. If you are planning on hooping in replica joints, <laughs> definitely don't recommend it, but uh, yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Flex on your local gym, you know. Wear some three thousand dollar J's, beaters, you know. You. Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! <laughs> oh my god, those look so good. Stop. Stop. Yo, where are you going? Stop. God damn, those boys in here. How's them souls looking? You tell me. Dusty. 
like a uterus. Rumor has it. These bad boys held up great. <laughs> Future me here. It's been about a week. I did a, I did a couple more ball sessions. I did have to stop a little bit early because I started getting blisters on my feet. If you guys ever played in Jordan 1s, it's not the most comfortable of ball shoes, but they held up great. The material definitely got broken in a little bit. A little bit softer than it was straight out the box. Creases everywhere, but that comes with normal wear. I did try and clean these up a little bit before this video. That Jordan 1 traction, it is a violent on the court. A little, little, little more wear on the outside here. It's gonna wear a jab step. The frosted layer, no separation. All the threads held up pretty nice, especially the laces. On all the eyelets, there was no fraying of the laces. The laces held up great. Creases, creases came at the back heel here. A little bit on the side panel and especially at the toe box. Another shoe, I did scuff it up a little bit, some of the frosting, but it still looks, still looks pretty good, even with the scuffs. Um, yeah, overall, for reps, I mean, I'm not sure you can get much better than this. This is a, a bit of a more expensive batch though, so definitely do your research. You can get a nice pair, a nice pair of kicks for a fraction of the cost. All right, let me know if you guys liked the video. If you guys want me to do this in other pairs, kind of wear test these bad boys. I'm definitely down to do more of these. It was pretty fun.